Good afternoon, ma. My name is John Marie Laval. I'm a third year medical student from Davao Medical School Foundation. Um, are you comfortable with English or do you want me to speak in vernacular? English is good, doc. Okay, so to check, um, what is your name? My name is Rosan. Okay, ma'am Rosan. I am here today to have a CAA evaluation. It stands for Catharsis, Education, and Action Evaluation. It is a type of counseling, and I am here to listen to your concerns. Okay. So, tell me, what brings you here today? I have been having diarrhea and fever the past few days, Doc, and I went for a checkup. I also had my typhoid dot test, and I was told that I had typhoid fever. And when you heard the diagnosis, what thoughts came into your mind? I have already started treatment, but I'm still worried that it might be COVID. You see, Doc, I live in a high-risk area, and I usually buy food from nearby carenderias because I live alone and don't cook in my apartment. Okay, and how do you feel about these thoughts? I have been very restless because I have read that diarrhea and fever are symptoms of COVID, and living in a high-risk area, my chances of being exposed to people with COVID are very high. Although I am very careful with washing my hands and I wear my mask and face shield every time I go out of the house, I also bring alcohol with me, but I'm still very scared of the hospital, doc, because what if I am positive and I will be isolated? And what about these thoughts that make you feel that way? It just really bothers me, doc, because I live far away from family and I only have a few friends here. It's very hard to travel back and forth. Okay. Let's tackle this one at a time. What exactly are your fears? You're thinking that you might have contracted COVID because you have similar symptoms? Yes, because in case it is COVID, I'm afraid of the outcome. Because I saw in the news and social media that people are dying because of it. I'm afraid to die alone and away from my family. I see. Okay, that seems to be the most upsetting thought. What else is bothering you? I'm afraid of going to SPMC doc and being isolated because I know that all of the COVID patients are admitted there. The fear that you're having towards COVID is valid and sometimes the news and social media tend to exaggerate the current situation. I understand that you feel more vulnerable because you are away from your family and being scared of SPMC is not unusual because it is tagged as the COVID hospital. But the people working there are doing their best to help the patients. And about being isolated, don't worry too much because the people there all have good intentions and are willing to help. And since you have already started treatment for typhoid fever, you don't need to worry too much about having contracted COVID. Today is your second day of treatment, right? Yes, bro. Okay. It is expected that your fever will disappear after three days of treatment. Come back in two days so we can check up on you again, so we can discuss if you have any more concerns. And let me just remind you to always wear your mask and face shield properly, to avoid crowded places, and to practice social distancing. Do you have any more questions? No, but though. So how are you feeling now? I feel a lot better, Doc. Thank you for the reassurance. I'm very happy to help. And I'll see you in two days, okay? Okay, Doc. Thank you.